हेलो एवरीवन लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द टुडे टॉपिक मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू द करंट कैरिंग सर्कुलर लॉ दिस इज नथिंग बट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ बावर सबर्ट लॉ सी द फिगर वी हैव सेलेक्टेड वी हैव टेकन ए करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर व्हिच हैव करंट आई फ्लोइंग थ्रू द कंडक्टर ओ इज द ओरिजिन ऑफ द सर्कुलर लूप डी एल इज नथिंग बट ए स्मॉल एलिमेंट at the both end of the circular coil mm, the distance p is taken from the origin of this conductor uh, at the distance uh, at the distance x from the origin of the uh, current carrying conductor and this is placed in such a way that uh, point p will is along x axis and the height of the current can require is uh, along y axis now uh, <clears throat> suppose this point p this point p is any point on the axis on the circular coil at a distance x from the center of point o so this op is equal to x uh, already i mentioned that we considered with two a small element dl um, of the coil each of the length dl at point c and point d so now we have to find out the mag uh, flux density due to the that current carrying conductor so the distance pc and pd this distance that is nothing but this distance pc from point p to this c and the point p to d is nothing but equal to r and this r is equal to the uh, radius square plus the distance x square a square plus x square and the angle cpo that means angle making with the now this p c and o like this angle and this angle both are equal that is making angle phi so according to bauer sawat law we know that the magnitude of mag magnetic field induction at any point p due to the current element idl at c is given by uh, if you are taking the first uh, ma uh, uh, magnetic field like db1 then it becomes mu divided by 4 pi idl sin theta here theta that means phi is equal to 90 degree because d uh, dl and r both are perpendicular to each other <coughs> divided by r square so this becomes db1 becomes mu divided by 4 pi idl and the value of r is nothing but under root um, a, a square plus x square so it becomes a square plus x square similarly db2 that means uh, this uh, um, part of the magnetic field is again will break in two part uh, this part and this part so uh, due to this uh, db2 we have the same amount of magnitude uh, according to bauer sawat law and we will again have the mu div mu not divided by 4 pi idl again theta is equal to 90 degree and divided by r square so this is also mu idl by 4 pi a square plus s square so from equation 1 and 2 we find that db1 is equal to db2 and the the value is nothing but mu idl divided by 4 pi a square plus x square since the angle ape and apf as and the angle cpo is making an angle phi so if we'll break this db nothing but db1 into the two rectangular components so the first component becomes db1 cos phi along pa and the second component becomes db1 sin phi along px as so th from this figure uh, if you are breaking this one db2 so along this pa it becomes db cos phi because this angle is phi and along this side it becomes db2 sin phi similarly this db1 again in this side it becomes db1 uh, sin phi and uh, here db1 cos phi so since db1 and db2 both are equal hence Mm, this component only will exist and this component db1 cos phi and db2 uh, cos phi will be cancel out each other because this are equal and opposite magnitude so like uh, cosine components will be cancel out uh, so now we'll find out the magnitude of uh, that means uh, magnetic flux density b is nothing but integral of db sin phi and Uh, as we know that the dv is nothing but mu i dl divided by 4 pi a square plus s square and sin phi so mu i uh, 4 pi a square x square 
sin phi and uh, the vari variable dl is only the variable so, so that's why we will take as this one as integral so sin phi is equal to uh, so we'll take the value of sin phi this will nothing but and thus uh, sin phi is equal to this a divided by uh, this f r so a by r that means a divided by ax square plus uh, a divided by under root a square plus a square and hence dl dl is nothing but total circumference of the uh, circular loop so it will become dl becomes 2 pi and r is equal to a so 2 pi a hence now we'll put this value in this b and it, this becomes mu naught i 4 pi a square x square into the value of sin phi is equal to a divided by 1 root a square plus x square into 2 pi a. So now this uh, 2 pi and 4 pi will get cancelled and will have the value equal to 2 and mm, the value of b will get is mu i a square divided by 2 a square x square to the power 3 by 2. When <coughs> but if there will be the n number of turns in the coil first of all we have considered only single uh, turns but if you have n number of turns the only the changes will be in dl and it will becomes 2 pi a n so the value of b that will matter flux density is equal to mu i n a square divided by 2 a square x square 3 by 2 to the power 3 by 2 so uh, now we will select two special cases first when point p lies at the center of the circular well, uh, then what will happen this x becomes 0 therefore we have I will show you from the figure here when this point P becomes uh, comes at the center of this circular coil then this x becomes 0 and then x becomes 0 then B is equal to mu i n a square divided by 2 a q because uh, if we we'll put here x is equal to 0 then a square and 3 by 2 a square a square will get cancelled and we we'll get 2 a q so here we'll have the value mu i and a square 2 a q a square and a, uh, a square get cancelled and we'll have final value b is equal to mu i n and n is number of turns divided by 2 when the second case when the point p lies far away very very far away from the center of the coil then the x that means the distance from origin to the point p becomes very very greater than then this distance x becomes very very greater than a so now the a square and x square is uh, equal to x square because the the value of a is very small then we'll have only x square and now put these values in equation 3 and we'll we'll get b is equal to mu divided by 4 pi 2 pi a i n as uh, like this it was and into again a divided by here this x square plus a square becomes x square into this x square so what will happen mu divided by 4 pi 2 pi a square i divided by this x square into 3 by uh, to the power 3 by 2 becomes x cube so uh, we will see uh, here mu divided by 4 pi 2 because pi pi get cancel, uh, will get cancelled so mu 2 and i a divided by x cube and this a I mean uh, a is nothing but area of the um, circular coil and it equals to pi a square so this pi a square we have kept here equal to a so b is equal to mu divided by 4 pi uh, sorry mu divided by 4 pi 2 and i a by x q in terms of area but we will go for the in terms of magnetic dipole moments that my m is equal to n i a so b b becomes mu divided by 4 pi 2 m divided by x q where m is the magnetic dipole moment and it is equal to n i a so this is uh, the case where we found the magnetic field due to a circular coil uh, and we kept any point P uh, away from X distance from a center o, o and we have considered two more cases also when this point P becomes uh, at, uh, comes at the origin and it, be it becomes very very far away from us. Thank you.